John Tesla here at Nightmare Weekend with Catherine Mary Stewart. That's right. Catherine, hey. say hello to the audience at geekcool.com. Hi, it's nice to meet y'all. You started out in the 80s, and of course most people will remember you from Night of the Comet and The Last Starfighter. That's right. What was it like working on two movies that were really comparatively low budget for the time and have them become cult classics? I know. that's It's like the gift that keeps on giving these movies. Um, so when you shoot them, you don't really think much about it, what's going to happen to them. And then, well, it's been 40 years now, but, which, but I would say, like, after 20 years, all of a sudden I was made aware of the fact that people really love these movies. And I'm telling you, I'm so grateful to have been a part of them because they seem, both of them, None of the Comet and The Last Starfighter, have this impact that seems to last forever. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that they're both sort of character-driven movies, you know, and the people in the movies, the characters you can relate to as, as real people. I think that's so important in movie making. Night of the Comet came out and it was really low budget and there was a lot of ad-libbing in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, it was a zombie movie at a time when zombie movies weren't being made. How does it feel to be the precursor where now you've got complete arenas of nothing but zombie movies. I know, there's a lot of zombie movies now. Um, I mean, you know, Night of the Living Dead, I think was the first one in like 64, whenever that was, isn't that? Yeah. Um, but then they, of course, become so popular now. But Night of the Comet, it's kind of, it is, it's got zombies, it's got uh, comets, it's got humor, it's got it's kind of got that um, you know, Valley Girl thing going on. So there's lots of genres mixed in. Uh, and not a ton of zombies, but I guess you could consider it a zombie movie or maybe even a Christmas movie because it takes place at Christmas. Which do you like doing more, being on film or being on a TV show? Um, I, I guess probably being on film. I mean, they're both great, but the nice thing about film is that it takes sort of longer to do the whole thing, so um, you have more time, you know, to kind of work with the characters and all that other stuff. It's just a little more relaxed. On television, you know, you're sort of banging stuff out pretty quickly. Um, but I mean, they're both great. I mean, I wouldn't, if somebody offered me a series, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> what was your favorite movie to work on? That's a good question. I mean, I've been really lucky because all the movies that I've done, most of them are so different from each other. So there's always something new involved with each movie. And you kind of, you know, you, you kind of sort of enjoy different things for different reasons. I mean, I just, I just love working. I like, it, like playing different characters and doing different stories. So I don't know that I really have a favorite, but I did. Ha I have to say, I loved working on the last Starfighter. Lance is here. You interviewed him. Um, uh, Nick Castle, the director, is here. We're all still really good friends, which is kind of a sign that it must have been a great experience. Now, when I interviewed Lance, he said you and he are working on something coming up. Now, he wouldn't share anything. Do you want to give a hint at all, or is it... Well, uh, so a couple of friends of his have this concept that we're writers, and they sort of sent it to us, and we're, we've just been kind of building on it, you know? We've been kind of... Uh, Know, working it a little bit, we'll, we'll see what happens, but it would be something probably for television, kind of a TV movie kind of thing, so we'll see what happens. What advice would you give someone starting out in the business? 
starting out in the business, I would say surround yourself with people that are supportive. Surround yourself with peers. Do as much uh, work. Be involved with as much work as you can on any level. You know, even if it's like local theater or something like that. Because the more people you meet, the more you network, the more doors that open, and you just kind of find your path. Um, it's a tough business, but uh, think of it as a business and, and don't give up. And be yourself. Don't try to be something that you think they want you to be. Because if you look at the most successful actors, they're all completely different. They're all individual people and characters and looks and all that stuff. So have confidence in yourself. Where can people find you on social media? Uh, yeah, you can find me on Facebook, Catherine Mary Stewart. You can find me on Instagram, Catherine Mary Stewart, surprisingly. <laughs> I'm on Twitter or X under my, my thing is CMSALL, but if you put um, Catherine Mary Stewart, you'll find me, I'm sure. Um, and you know, if you want to ever look me up and see what else I've done, you could do imdb.com. That's a good one. And I have uh, a website. KatherineMaryStewart.com. So check it out. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us at GeekyFool.com, Catherine. Thank you very much. My pleasure.